Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. Knocked him out and changed the perception. Everyone thought your brother was the big puncher. All of a sudden, you knock him out flat, you know. I have more to show. You know, I got more to, to give. And if the chin is suspect, then I mean, I must expose it. Uh, everybody thought that John Jackson had a weak chin and he fought Andy Lee. He got knocked out. So everybody was going in there saying that maybe that might happen again. So uh, I don't know. I'm getting in there. I'm training. I'm working hard. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm just listening to my coaches. I'm applying myself as I work out. Uh, this is the best shape I've been in because of guys like Earl Spence and Big Juan Arnett and Robert Brand and all the other guys that I was training with. Um, I know Haley had like a 15 or 20 people. I don't need all the people. I, I had some of the best quality work and uh, big blessings to everybody that I train with because they pushed me to a level that I haven't been at yet. Obviously, getting quality work. You also trains trainers, but this is now about your third training camp with Derek James. Just tell us a little bit about being in there with him, the change of element you over there now in Earl's gym, those different sparring partners that you're speaking of. How are things different from being with Ronnie Shields over at Plex? Uh, you know, it's a lot of difference. You know, it's just some things suitable for other fighters and some things aren't. Uh, Ronnie Shields is a great guy, a great trainer. Danny Plex, everything was great, but I'm one of the kind of people that get bored. Uh, with with uh, relationships, especially when they're dull, and the relationship that I had with Ronnie was not near as tight and tough as the one I have with Derek. Me and Derek are like brothers, trainers, fighters, and coaches, and mentors, and all all of the etc. Ronnie has a lot of fighters, so Derek can actually focus on me more. So, um, but like I said, nevertheless, I did I did a long career with Ronnie, and I'm happy. Derek has upped my game a little bit, I believe, because of the strength, power, uh, speed, and then having to just be a dog in the ring. Uh, we, we fight in a 16 by 16 box. And then I have a gym myself, which is 8,700 square feet, where I got a 22 by 22 foot ring and a 20, so I get the best of all. You know, and so there it comes to Houston, I go to Dallas, uh, I uh, move to LA as well. Uh, you know, got a lot going on. I got, are we starting to see a little bit of Derek James rub off on you in terms of your aggressive nature now that you're in that training camp? Possibly, possibly. Uh, that all depends on who's going to bring that out of me in a fight. You know, some things, you know, you got a first diversion that will impact the adversity, so who knows? Last question. I know we got other guys here. This division is obviously wide open. You have the WBC. What is the trajectory for yourself to try and get a, you know, unification or something bigger That's in this division? That's to the bosses. I can't control who I unify with. I can't control who I fight with. They uh, present an objective to me. I take it. I listen to it. And um, I talk it over with the people that, that helps me and they know me as well. So uh, if a fight makes sense and then the money is right, I'm taking it. Or, you know, we sit back and wait and be patient and continue to, to build. As being a champion, I have to fight the number one contender. I have to fight the mandatories. And um, I don't think anybody that's a champion have to, can avoid it. So. But with that specific WBC title, don't you feel like fighters should be calling you out? That's usually the most prestigious title, the one all the boxers want. Shouldn't Listen, they be calling it's, you? It's chess moves in this game. It's chess moves. So nothing else, nothing that we can do. Nothing. Some fighters already know. Me calling them out makes no sense. You know, uh, just at the time, my brother fought J Rock, he was just at the right time. And so, you know, I'm just being patient and letting God take over the show. Nah, he'll be making his debut somewhere in June, hopefully in May, June, something like that. I uh, I don't know the guy. I think they already announced it. So I don't know the guy's name. It's crazy. It's crazy. I think I did about say like 48 weeks, 48 weeks, uh, 48 rounds a week. Yeah, well, so yeah. What was that like? And that's the reason why is because of the setbacks and the keep setting backs and the forwards and the setbacks. Uh, the days that I didn't spar, I was doing shitty conditioning and we were just working out and I'm like, I wonder why they keep fucking saying you in juice, man. You ain't no no juice, you just fucking train your ass up like so I just picked up some of those crazy habits. What was that like? I mean that's that's fair to have two top level guys spar. It was crazy, it was good. I liked it. I enjoyed every little bit of uh training camp this time. Aaron holds his own even though he's not a junior middleweight. Yeah, absolutely. Any pop, he got pop. You know, Aero got pop, he's strong, he's uh fast. I'm fast, you know, and uh, I stood my grounds and he stood his and we, we had some good days and bad days. Now, from what you've seen, what do you think of the Brooke Spence situation? What do you think of that fight, just being uh, in the ring with one of them? Brooke is an accurate puncher, but I don't think he has enough to, to deal with the pressure and the power that Errol has. When I say this guy packs punch, he packs punch. And, uh, I know it's my fight week and I'm over here talking about him, but yeah, that, this is the reason why I'm 
probably will perform at another level. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get there and do what I have to do. How do you feel since your fight got postponed? It was supposed to be on the fight with Gary Russell Jr. card, and it got postponed. How motivated are you to just come back after being ready to fight? It's been a long time. I don't want to ever be off as long as you. Um, I want to get in there and fight and keep doing what I have to do. This is my career. This is my legacy. And, and uh, the only way I can uh, make money is by fighting. Yeah, I was at your Showtime fight, the triple header with you and your brother. Charles Hadley jumped in the ring on your brother. Is there real bad blood? How do, what do you know about Charles Hadley? You uh, guys are both from Texas. I, I just, I just work. The most bad, the, the worst blood is going to be is me trying to prove to the state of Texas and to the nation that I'm one of the best. So, uh, like I said before, I got a child and he looks up to me a lot. So my fight is bigger than the fight that Charles Halley can ever present to me. So uh, it's always gonna be black, bad blood. And I, I don't take, I don't look at no man like he gonna come in there and just, just handle me. So if you come in there and handle me, I'm gonna handle you back. So I'm gonna do what I gotta do. You do what you gotta do. Me, you gotta knock me out. Exactly. Waiting for this fight and having this be scheduled a couple of times and it's not being the main event, but the post is hurt. Can you feel any kind of like disrespect or anything? I overlook it. Mm -hmm. I overlook disrespect. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna get disrespect. I get disrespected all the time. I just can't. I can't beat up everybody. I can't smack everybody. You know what I'm saying? Even though I want to. The only thing I can do is just get better with them myself. And if it gets too crazy, I know how to handle it. I'm from Texas. I'm from Houston. You know where we at. You know? Why do you, think you know who we have. Why do you think that is that people don't look you and maybe don't give you the credit? Um, they're just the name of the game, man. This is a fight world, so you just gotta get in there. It's cold. You gotta, you know, you, you gotta be light. You gotta be disliked. Uh, sometimes the humble guys never win. They get they get pushed around. I guess it was humble too long. Brother, and obviously your brother has some that's a, I mean, I, I'm, yeah. that's the story of my life. I've been compared to my brother my whole life, so. You know, that's a good thing, I guess. You know, it's a good thing in the bad thing you're a champion too, right? right? We did something right. Now, speaking of your brother, he got a, a high ranking in his new division. They ranked him number two. What do you think his uh, outlook or his future is going to look like at middleweight? I can't predict the future of what he's going to do and how he trains. I'm over here at Dallas in California and Houston, and he's in Houston training with Ronnie Shields. Nothing I can really do about that. I know my brother's bigger, he's stronger, he's working hard consistently every day. And uh, because of that, I picked that up as well. So if you see me now, I'm a lot bigger than I've ever been in my life. Uh, I'm happier, I'm getting my weight down now. Um, but, you know, 154, I'm going to make the weight and I'm going to uh, continue to make it. How much longer will you stay at the future? Uh, that's a good question, man. I don't really know. I don't know what, what, what the future holds and what they present to me. Have you thought about, like, at some point, you know, maybe? I thought about it. Uh, Catching a title with my brother at 154. I mean, at 160 as well. Okay. Yeah. Of course, I would love to be 160. I'm like 160 right now. Yeah. You know, so yeah. You get harder and harder. It's getting harder every fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Especially if they get your, your layoff, it's going to be harder. Is there, is there any time frame for how many more fights you might stay at 54? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know the time frame of how long I'll be boxing. You know what I'm saying? So I can't predict these things. I can't control them either. Did you catch that Demetrius Andrade Jack Coupe fight? I know he had a lot of things to say about you and your brother. He didn't look that great in his guy last on my fight. Mind. That guy talks a lot. He runs his mouth a lot. He has a lot going on in his career. And I'm just like, you know what I mean? I'm focused on what I got to do. Well, he captured the WBO in that fight in Germany. The, the uh, WBA. WBA, 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 yeah, for the uh, yeah. versus he Jack Coupe. He should have a fight. Uh, maybe one day we'll meet. You know? Not, not right now. Are you hesitant because he pulled out the last time? No, it's not about being hesitant. It's more about being, you know, hey, I'm the champ now. You know? Thank you.